Hi everyone. So, continuation lang ng topic natin sa lesson 1. So, lesson 2 is more features ni Excel table. So, tutuloy ko lang siya. I'll, I'll be using the same database. Okay? So, paano ba mag-add ng columns and paano mag-add ng rows sa Microsoft Excel? So, let me show you a demonstration first doon sa manual range. Let's say you have a manual table like this. Okay, so let's say you will be adding another row or another column. If you right-click a single cell, if you right-click here, and you select insert, you will have some confusing options here. So if you select entire row, you will have this output. And if you select entire column, you will have this output. And then, if you right-click this, meron siyang another option which is shift cells right. So, ang mangyayari is if you click OK, so umusog lang yung part na to. And then, you have a blank cell here. So, let's say you have highlighted this part. You right-click, insert, shift cells down, click OK. Ito yung magiging output. Okay, so para ka lang nag-move ng cells, which is sa database management, medyo risky siya kasi baka accidentally mo mausog yung mga data. And kapag hindi siya pantay-pantay, baka magkaroon ng errors sa formula or accuracy. Okay, so let's delete this one. In Excel table, you don't have to worry kasi if you right-click anywhere, let's say right-click, and then, you have another option here. Okay? You have a lot of options actually kasi hindi naman ganito ang lalabas kapag you are working on uh, a regular table lang. So, if you click insert, you have two options. Table columns to the left, table rows above. Okay? So, let's say table rows above. If you click that, you will have a blank row. Okay? Let's undo that. And then if you right-click anywhere, let's say here, insert, table columns to the left. So sa left side ng column G, magkakaroon ng bagong column. And automatically, nilagyan niya ng title header na column 1. Bakit niya nilagyan ng title header? Kasi required yon sa database management. Since title headers are going to be considered as your fields, when you are going to create a pivot, so nilalagyan niya automatically ng column headers, okay? So, if you right-click this part and insert another column, you will have column number 2. So, sunod-sunod yan, column number 3, 4, and so on and so forth, okay? So, hindi mo siya pwedeng burahin. So, right now, I'm pressing delete, pero hindi siya nabubura, okay? So, pwede mo lang gawin is palitan yan ng pangalan. Let's say, additional column. Okay. And kapag ginawa mo siyang additional column din, kapareho nitong column G. So, wala akong nilagay na number. If I press enter, nilagyan niya siya ng number 2. Okay? So, hindi kasi pwedeng you have two similar na title headers. Sa Excel table, hindi siya allowed. Automatic nilalagyan niya ng numbers yan dahil identical kasi yung dalawang titles, okay? So, paano mag-delete ng columns? You can right-click this one, same process. Delete naman, table columns. Right-click, delete, table columns. See, you would like to move itong column na to sa column C, okay? So, you can click this cell. And then, position your mouse sa gilid para mag-iba yung pointer. So, this is your drag and drop and moving mouse pointer. So, drag mo lang siya papunta sa column C. Make sure na nakikita mo yung vertical line. Kasi kapag hindi mo siya nakikita, it means na mali ang positioning ng dragging mo. Okay? So, you can release your mouse na para malipat yung column na yun. So again, you just have to click a single cell sa title header. Let's say this one. 
And then, position your mouse pointer sa gilid ng cell. Kailangan yung mouse pointer mo, ganyan yung tsura, and then you can drag. Okay? So, pag gaya nito, hindi lumalabas yung vertical line, meaning hindi mo pa siya napoposition ng tama. So, kailangan accurate yung pagdadrag at makikita mo yung vertical line na yan, and then you can release. Okay? Next is, I'll go at the end of the record. So, you can press control down. Okay? Para saan yung control down? Para pumunta siya sa last na record ng table mo. And, ang um, additional feature pa ni Excel table is, if you go to design, there is a total row here. So, if you click that, you will have additional row. And it's labeled with total. So, kapag pumunta ka sa mga columns na pwedeng i-calculate, it will have some fields and functions na pwede mong magamit. Let's say, if you click this column, meron kang drop-down, and then if you would like to get the average, the count, and then yung count mo yung numbers, you can also get the maximum value, you can get the minimum, the sum, ayan, so hindi mo kailangan mag-type ng formula. And if you see, there is a formula here na automatic na nalagay and you don't have to change that kasi automatic naman na feature ni Excel table yon. So you can add another one here. Let's say you want to get the average. Let's say you want to get the maximum value in this column. Okay? And then you want to get the minimum, for example. Then let's get the sum. Usually yung STD Dev or standard deviation, more on statistics na, at saka yung var. And you can have more functions as well. But basically, yun lang naman yung mga madalas nilang ginagamit. I would suggest na you only use this total if you have a smaller data lock or a smaller set of um, table, okay? Kasi hindi siya advisable sa mga malakihang data. Ginagamit lang to if you need to get the total Tapos, um, you can calculate naman this data using a pivot report. So, we can disable this. Alright, so, just have to press control up arrow key para bumalik sa pinakauna. So, control left, control down, control right, control up, and control left ulit. Okay, so, shortcut keys. Next is, I will be adding a slicer. So, let's say, I'll highlight this one. Okay? Right click, insert. Okay? So, kung nag-highlight ako ng 13 rows, kapag nag-right click, insert ako 13 rows, then yung ma-add. So, I'll leave a space here. So, para saan ba yung space? So, you have to click your table. Go back to design. And then, click insert slicer. And then, let's select some fields here. Basically, itong fields na to, yan din yung nasa table mo. And let's select, for example, region name. Then, click OK. And you will have this slicer. Para saan ba yung slicer? This is what you can use to slice and dice your data or to filter your data. So, let's zoom this. Oops. Okay. So, your region name is this one. So, imagine if you're gonna filter this out. You'll click that and select all, northwest. And then, you will see here tong part na to sa ilalim ng sheet tab mo. Okay? 414 records ang under kay northwest. Okay? So, yun yung magiging guide mo if you need to count the records. So, if you filter this out, Let's say Southeast, you will have here 252 records ang um, nakita niya out of 500, out of 5,575, okay? So, you can reset this. Kaya lang medyo matrabaho yung pag-filter. So, what I normally do is, let me disable ko yung filter. And then, you can use the slicer. North Central, so you have North Central data here. Northeast, 
northwest, south central, southeast, and southwest. Okay? So, mas madali siyang gamitin compared to filtering. Alright? So, you can click clear filter para ma-reset yung filtering mo. And then, this multi-select, you can use that if you want to select more than one item. Pero what I normally do is I press control lang. So, let's say north central. And I want to see southeast at the same time. So, hold your control key. Select Southeast, tapos release mo lang yung mouse. So, you will have North Central and Southeast at the same time here. Okay? So, control home tayo para pumunta tayo sa pinakaunang cell. Alright? So, let's clear this filter. Can you add more than one slicer? Yes, you can do that. Make sure you click your table first. Go to Design. Insert Slicer. And let's select another field. Let's say category name. Click OK. Alright. You have two slicers now. Okay. So let's say you have selected North Central. And then you can select South Central. And then you can select this item. So you have two filtering criteria. South Central and shrubs okay let's say southwest tapos container plants ayan so you can filter your data using two slicers kasi magka-connect sila okay so let's say for example if i selected container plants and then north central okay lang din naman kung ano yung gusto mong i-click muna okay so wala naman siyang bearing kung ano yung una mong i-select sa slicers so, let's say you are missing some data here. Always make sure na i-reset nyo yung mga filters. Baka mamaya meron kayong hinahanap na data. Hindi nyo mahanap yan pala naka-slicer pala kayo. Okay? You can format your slicers. You, you have an options ribbon here and this is dedicated sa slicer mo lang. So, if you click your slicer, you can format this. Medyo eterno natin siya sa table natin. Yan. So, blue din. And... The rest of the commands here are dedicated to slicers and you can do a lot of options pa. Let's say, for example, let's move this. Okay. Then you have here height and width. So, para sa buttons yun. So, pag tinaasan mo siya, ayan, makapal yung um, size ng buttons mo. Okay. And then this is actually the size the height and width of the slicer box. So, if you click this, ayan, lumalaki yung mismong box. Okay? So, you can adjust the sizes. And then, you also have an option, let's say, for example, gusto mo siyang lakihan. So, if you click this slicer, make sure you click your slicer kung ano yung gusto mong i-format before you go to options. Okay? Then you can click columns para mag-split yung buttons into two columns. So, pwedeng three, four, five, kaya lang hindi na siya nababasa. So, kailangan nababasa yung slicer mo. Um, so, let's reduce this to two columns lang. And then, pwede mo nang liitan yung box para mas tipid sa space. So, yeah. So, para uniform yung slicer mo, what you can do is click this one. Check mo yung height, 2.98. Then, click this one, type mo 2.98. Okay? Kaya lang nagkaroon na siya ng scroll bar, which is ina-avoid natin yan kasi kailangan um, mabilis ka lang makapag-filter. Hindi mo kailangan mag-scroll. Okay? So, we have to reduce this. So, let's make it 3. Hindi pa rin. 3.02. 3.05 or 3.5. So, check mo lang yung size niya dito. Click this one and type 3.5. Okay? Tapos, you can highlight this one. Right-click. Delete. Okay? So, you can increase the size of your button step. Okay, and now you have a slicer for your Excel table. Mm -hmm. Um, slicer available pa rin yan sa pivot tables. You will still use that. 
And mas marami siyang features kapag sa pivots siya nakakonect. Okay? So, always remember to reset your filtering when you're presenting your report. 